In this problem, it's asking, in physics, the mass-energy equivalence is that the mass of a body is measured by its energy content. This may be written algebraically as E equals mc squared, where E is energy, m is the mass, and c is the speed of light in a vacuum. Transform the equation so that we read as a solution for mass. Okay, show all the steps. All right. Now, what you're going to do, honestly, all this, you don't need anything except for that and that. Okay, everything else is just fancy talk. Okay, like the rest you don't need. Because really, all you need is the equation, which is E equals mc squared. And then it wants you to transform the equation so that it can be read as a solution for mass, m. Okay, so pretty much you want to get m by itself, right? Mm -hmm. That's your goal, because all you want to do is solve for m. You know you're not going to get an answer like 7 is the answer, because they, they don't have any numbers. The only number you got is 2, and that's the exponent of something you don't know the number of. So pretty much it's going to look like m equals and then a bunch of stuff on the other side. Okay, so pretty much let's see what, I, see what we can do. Um, what do we have to get rid of? We got to get rid of the c squared. Okay, so that's the only thing we have to get rid of. Now we got to look at what's happening between m and c squared. They're being multiplied, right? So we got to do the opposite of multiplication, which is division, right? So we divide both sides by c squared. All right, that cancels out, so that's gone over there. So m's by itself, which is what we want. So m equals, and then. Can you solve any more of E divided by C squared? Can that be reduced any? No, it cannot. So you are done. You got M by itself, and that's it. There's really only one step. You would divide both sides by C squared. That's it. Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out tarveracademy.com.